This is the big break. And this is the final two contestants going head to head Orit Mohammed of Boon Coffee and Deviani Dial of She Moves. Now, between 5 30 and 6, we heard from both our contestants going through their SWAT report of their own businesses and being grilled by our panel of judges Edward Roderick, co chairman of Investors Mina, Eileen Wallace, managing partner at the Portsmouth Group, and Yusuf Takan Takan, chief executive officer of Flip Media. Now, our contestants have a second task. So I'm delighted to welcome back into the Dubai Eye Studio, Deviani Dayal of Shimus. Deviani, thanks for coming back and joining us. Thank you. Here's the thing. This great prize on offer. Quarter of a million dirhams of radio advertising. Free office. Free everything at Dubai Airport. Free zone. But we want to know how you're going to use this. What's the benefit to you? How, can you demonstrate that you deserve this? That you're going to make the most of this? Well, our judges are going to grill you on that. First of all, though, what we've done earlier on today, we got both Deviani and Orit into the Dubai Eye studio. We gave them only 10, 20 minutes to come up with a radio advert to promote their goods or services. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hear those adverts, or more precisely, we're going to hear Deviani Dial's advert. Now, as I say, it was just uh, 20 minutes, but it was with the, uh, the advertising team here at the Arabian Radio Network. So she did have a little bit of help, but the script and the style are all Deviani's own work. So here it is then, the advert, 30 seconds for the Arabian Radio Network, She Moves. Hmm, what am I doing this evening? Right, 5.30, 6.30, mm, that's Zumba. 7 o'clock coffee with Cara. Oh, I need groceries too. Okay, 8 o'clock, supermarket. Ooh, what am I going to wear? I'm going to be a sweaty mess. Ladies, always fabulous. Chic activewear. For the gym, for groceries, for whatever. But always fabulous. SheMovesOnline.com Do it! Deviani, good stuff. Listen, I'm going to uh, throw this over to our judges in a second. First of all, talk us through your thinking behind that advert. Well, I think... I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's just such a cool ad and I was just... You know, there was so much thinking involved. Um, I think that this is a situation that women go through every day. You know, every day you finish work and you think, oh, I have to go to the gym because I have to be fit and I want to look good. But then you have a thousand things to do after and then right after the gym, there's this time where you can either go home and change or you can shower at the gym and change or you could wear she moves online clothes and not change and look great and then shower when you get home so that's the thinking behind it okay gonna throw this one open to our judges who wants the first question Yusuf Takan Takan. Well, here's a question for you, Deviani. You mentioned that you, you redesigned your website about a month ago, and obviously, really, your website is is your shop. Yeah. So we can't really underestimate the importance of it. Um, what's your arrangement with you, with your website developer? I mean, who owns the source code? What happens if you fall out with them? How dependent are you on a third party for what is essentially, you know, your only source of revenue? Well, uh, initially we were, everything was on GoDaddy, like everything usually is when you first start out. And then after that, we started to work with an awesome company called Businessware. And we are on their hosting server and we're about to get a server in our office as well. So all of the data, all of our secure information, such as accounting and stuff is in the office itself. And we'll be buying a computer for that shortly. Um, I'm particularly keen to learn what you're going to do with the prize in, in this section either the, the adverts on Arabian Radio Network and also the, the great facility down at Dubai Airport Free Zone Eileen Wallace I know you have a question what does success look like for you in the next 12 months if you win this fabulous prize I think I mean it's going to catapult us to a new level I think without the prize we're going to grow but we're going to grow at a snail pace with the prize it's going to be everything all at once because I feel the reason why we deserve the prize now is because we're ready to go if there was an order of five thousand dollars or five thousand orders that came in operationally I'm ready to handle it we've got a website that rocks it's at world standard we've got a payment gateway all of that is connected we've got an inventory system we've got an accounting system and we've got a delivery system that delivers in 24 to 48 hours within the UAE so I, I think at this point we're just ready to go so it just comes at the perfect time to just boost us out the amount of money you're getting for the advertising is is very large indeed and therefore you need a sort of campaign approach to it not a singular ad so if you were building the campaign if that's the start point what's the second or third ad going to focus on We've actually uh, given this a lot of thought. We feel that 40% of the money we would probably use in an awareness campaign right away, and I think I've been looking at the stations, I've kind of narrowed it down. 
it's a, for all women. So really, we want to be on 92 Virgin, 103.8, Shomar Radio, 101.6, uh, uh, and Arabia. Those are the, the, the channels that we want to focus on, and we want to really do an awareness similar to what you heard about what is active wear, how can I be cool, how can I be fabulous. The second 40%, we're speaking to investors at the moment, and I'd actually like to tell the audience that if anyone is interested in investing in a great opportunity, we're looking for investors because in April, we are about to finalize a retail store to open up. And we feel that at that time, the remaining 40% would be a great launch announcement. And the last 20%, again, I want to use for uh, road shows and drives for the community drives that we're doing. I'd love to have a, a radio compere there talking about the issues and bringing more people in and spreading awareness. Well, here's an interesting thing. Um, you know, you're a dot-com business, and the shortest line to a website is, a, is another website. So you're talking about radio, you're talking about activation, you're talking about, you know, events. But the reality is if people aren't coming to you online, you know, you're not going to be selling anything. So do you think online radio? Do you think banner advertising? How do you see the online component of, of the prize um, working for you as well? Okay, well, we, we feel that there's a lot going on online for on a social media front. I do want to spend on online advertising, but at the moment we do have some funds, but I feel that I need to prioritize them. And activewear and dancewear is dependent on a market that's health driven and dance driven. The UAE is the largest out of the GCC that has the largest number of dance school and largest number of fitness schools. So I want to focus on this region more. So what I also feel that this market is still developing on the internet. It's there. There's last year was 14% growth, whereas in the retail sector, it was just about 2 or 3%. So I do feel like there's a lot of money to be had. But I feel like there has to be some interaction with the customer as well in order to fully e expand the awareness aspect. Taviani, we're in a recession right now. The market that you're hoping to get into or getting into is so competitive. I went to Decathlon today and bought a top to wear, a fleece top to wear to and from the gym for 40 dirhams. It was on sale. How on earth can you possibly compete with that? Well, I think you have to also consider what kind of clothing we have. You know, a lot of our clothing, I'm going to give you an example. If you watch Sex and the City or <laughs> Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you always see these people like sweating like pigs when they're exercising, but they look fabulous. The clothes, no uh, sweat stains, there's asymmetrical lines and everything is very fashionable. Those that clothing also has technology. That's the kind of caliber that we're talking about. It is, uh, I won't say a, a high-end product, but it is a premium product. Why are you going against the tide at the present time? Everybody in retail that I know is moving away from stores on, online because the fixed costs of stores are so high. Well, why have you taken that direction to say we're going from dot-com before you've really developed much of the dot-com element and gone straight into a store? I think it's important to have a face. Uh, also, uh, my background is retail, so I think I'm a bit partial to it. But I also think that at the moment, one of the challenges that we've been facing has been sizing. People want to touch and feel the products, and people want to know how well it fits. Now, we've solved this problem with some very accurate inch and centimeter size charts, and that works great for active wear. Doesn't work so great for dance wear. And that, there's a lot of income to be had there, too. So I want to maximize every level of profitability that I can. Well, you talk about, you know, the, the importance of growing your business and everything, but you look within the region, you know, if you look beyond the borders of the UAE, you've got hundreds of millions of Arab women who don't speak Ar Ar English as a first language. Um, do you think you should be catering to them with an Arabic version of your website as well? Absolutely. And I'm so glad you brought that up because, uh, you know, part of the drive, as I mentioned, is to develop uh, abayas for, for uh, you know, people who would want them to work out in outdoors. But also, I've just developed an Arabic section of the logo at last. So, again, this comes down to prioritizing your funds. You have a limited basket. So what do I do? Do I really want operations to be perfect or should I target Arabic? I think operations needs to be perfect first. Final question from Edward, and then I'm going to throw it open to questions that we've had from our listeners by SMS. The largest issue that all catalogue shops or, re or online retailers have is the whole question of reverse logistics. People get products, take multiple sizes, try them, and then you've got to get them back into the store and into the, into the warehousing operation. How have you planned for that? Well, uh, as I said, sizing was an issue, and we were facing that with some customers. There was, you know, a small in one brand is not a small or a medium in another brand, and that happens. So that 
error is now reduced, I, you know, I would say by 90%. The sizing charts that we've had and that I've worked very hard with the suppliers to create have really helped us. And also, uh, you know, let's not forget, this is active wear, so there's a lot of stretch with the clothing. So that does help as well. But in terms of our policy, our payment gateway is a company called moneybookers.com, which is from the UK. And they require all refunds to be UK compliant, which means it's like UK, Canada, US, you know, any sort of G8 country. So the great thing about that is everything isn't compliant with that. If you don't like it, you can return it and we'll exchange it. Deviani, thank you very much indeed. We're running short of time. We've had so many SMSs in. Thank you so, so much. Loads and loads of them saying what a great idea it is and they love She Moves. That's great. We'll take those <laughs> as given. Lots of people like you. A couple of more challenging questions. Okay. Someone writes in, don't give their name. Do you not think Adidas, Nike will not try out this closing if it's worth the change? Yes, there is. You know, I'm going to give you an, a, a retail example because not maybe everybody won't know this brand. Any retailer that is worth its salt in the UAE, in the GCC, has tried to get this brand called Abercrombie & Fitch from the States, yeah. and they're unable to, and Abercrombie & Fitch is just not willing to come to this region. There is a similar activewear giant in uh, Canada and the States called Lululemon, and there's a lifestyle and everything associated with it, and we really believe in that. One of uh, my fears is that a big player like Adidas and Nike is going to contact them and get their contract. The only thing that's saving me right now is they're just not interested. They've just moved from Canada into the States and uh, they're not interested in this region. So by the time they are interested, hopefully we'll be big enough to bag that one. And another question we've had, and two or three people have sent this one in. Isn't it a bit yucky to not shower after the gym and then go to spinnies, as you mentioned? Two or three people sent that one in. <laughs> it's yucky if you were wearing a garbage bag that just kept the, clo the, the the moisture in there. The beauty of this fabric is it absorbs it into itself. You feel dry inside and you look dry outside. And then you better go home and wash it. You know, like, that's the goal. <laughs> Deviani Dial of She Moves. Thank you very much indeed. We'll hear more from Deviani a little bit later on.